Scientists say for the Yusuf inspects the years of damage done to Indonesia's Pemonde coral reefs. Poachers illegally bombed and poisoned the coral to get more fish and exotic coral spikes. Yusuf is now on a mission to restore these prized underworld gardens, but with an interesting catch. So I observe and learn what the habits of the fishermen on the island are. Then we enter into their lives and try to influence their souls and mindsets to be able to change from destructive fishing to being conservationists. Muhammad Arif was one of these former poachers. He says his mentor's efforts were first met with resistance by locals as they thought it would deprive them of their livelihoods. He was the one who educated us that corals are essential for fish life and of course we as fishermen are dependent on the fish population. So he gave us knowledge and our welfare has increased by maintaining and caring for coral reefs. Yusuf and his team use spider module frames which help support coral regeneration. So far, they have managed to restore two hectares of the reef in this area. But the Spomonde consists of more than 120 small islands, so it's a long way to go. The coral triangle of Indonesia, the Philippines and the Indo-Pacific essentially must be preserved so that the world heritage that is in the water or in the ocean can be maintained for our future generations. In 2009, only 2% of the Spomonde reefs remained in good condition. And coral reefs in Indonesia account for 18% of the total area of the world's coral reefs. Yusuf acknowledges the big task ahead, but with more fishermen on board, he believes it is possible. Afsal Ahmed, TRT World.